everybody, and this will be my coach gun build out session. I'm not going to give you one build. I'm not going to give you the highest DPS build. I'm going to give you all the builds because in this game, you have bosses with random, you know, random perks. They can be anti crit. They can have hardy. They can have elemental resist. You know, you can you can be going up against a lot of mobs. You can be going one on one. It, it all depends on what the situation calls for. So. I'm gonna go with something that's standard on all my builds, which is first the coach gun, healing shot with the extender. I like the healing shot on my coach gun. I'm I run APOC builds, so these are all tested on a Apocalypse. It just I need my modifier on my pistol. It doesn't matter which pistol you use. I use hot shot and twisting wounds. We'll get there, but that's what I run on my pistol, and I put hot shot on that so I can spread the hot shot more. And then once again, it doesn't matter what pistol you use. I prefer the Rupture Cannon because it has a nice AoE and it can hit multiple targets and spread the bleed and the fire. Well, mostly the fire because with the bleed, you have to hit a weak spot in order to proc the Twisting Wounds. But you can apply Hot Shot on multiple targets at once. And it's just so much, it's so much nicer to have DOT. But if you come across a, a boss with Elemental Resist, Hot Shot isn't as good. So you would like, maybe you want to try running something else. I always run Hot Shot though, it's just so much fun. But back to the Coach Gun. Now the Coach Gun has two bullets. Why do I do the extender? Two reasons, not just that it has, actually three reasons. It has increased mag because, well, I'm gonna be honest, you're gonna burn, burn, burn ammo with this build. You're gonna burn ammo. So having more ammo always works and always nice. The level 10 gives you increased reload speed. So two shots, gonna have to always be reloading right now my favorite build is not what i have up on the screen my favorite build will go over second we'll go on over the biggest damage build first which is what you see on the screen the extender gives you also on top of extra magazine capacity it also gives you a third additional shot so let me go over here let me show you i actually now have three bullets which is a, which is a 50 percent mag increase so you're going from two shots to three shots by the way, this is a slug shot, so you're gonna have to get good at hitting like dead center of that circle. Back to the character. Always the same. Something else that's always the same. Not the relic, you can use whatever relic you want. I just like Tranquil Heart for the egg regen. But you have to have ranged critical, ranged critical, and weak spot damage. You need that increased crit damage, and you need that weak spot damage. Um, you also need that ranged crit chance, right? So this build right here is all about crit. It's all about weak spots. If they have it, this is what you're going for. Now, if you have the abrasive whetstone, you're going to want to proc bleeding. There's, am I, there's actually three ways you can proc bleeding, either through twisting wounds. So when I go into a fight, I use the pistol first, apply the hot shot, apply the twisting wounds, get that DOT. Then I switch over to coach gun and it now has all the benefits of the crit damage from the abrasive whetstone so it takes a little bit of prep but once you get used to it it's you'll use your pistol then you use your coach gun pistol coach gun so it's a little backwards in that sense a akari warband you get that perfect dodge increased chance increased damage decreases the range but you get increased damage dealt this one right here is the most uh it was it's the least prioritized ring in this build gotta have this you gotta have the probability cord with that increased crit damage, and you gotta have the Xanius Malice. You've seen this, if you're watching YouTube videos, you see these everywhere, it's great, they're staples. I would say this one is the one that you could switch out if you don't like it, if you if you need that range, and you you really don't wanna like worry about range, you could always do the Stone of Balance. It's just 7% damage, but it's damage, right? If you want survivability, do the Black Cat Band, that way it gives you that extra life. You combine that with the Hunter perk, have that as your primary, you get two free revives. And in APOC, having two free revives, this one has a 90 second cooldown and a two minute cooldown, you can get through just about anything, as long as you don't die three times in under five minutes. And you're good. You could also, if you want, Favor and Sigil. It's a great ring in this build. So, I'm once again trying to give you builds that are fluid for the situation. This gives you crit and weak spot damage every if you hit that which we're looking for in this build we're looking for crit hits it'll generate mod power which will generate your 
Coach Gun's healing shot, and will most importantly generate the hot shot, and it'll keep it rolling. It's a beautiful thing. Another way you can apply crit, if you don't have it on Twisting Wounds, you can always pull out the Blood Jewel, so a charged melee attack will apply bleed, and if you have something like the Krell Axe, or if you have where, which I think it's the Huntress Spear, you can throw, and it hits, applies bleed, and you're good, okay? You could also use the Hero Sword, I believe. That one also has... Um, I don't think I have it. I never I never bought it, but... Hero Sword also does a charged attack, which can apply bleed. So that's good if you don't have Twisting Wounds. Or let's say you don't have a sword that you can throw. Or you don't have that ring. You could always buy the grenades. And they are... Guys, they are dirt cheap. You throw it, and it procs for something like 30 seconds or something like that. Right? Uh, yeah, 30 seconds. So... Always go for it. This only does 10 seconds, but you're always constantly changing out. Now, we're going to go a little bit smaller on the deeps. What if you don't have crit at all or bleed at all? What if you could, uh, or let's say your boss doesn't have, for example, uh, or does have the thick skin, which reduces crits. So now we're looking more for weak spot damage as opposed to crit damage. This is, this is my more widely used one for, for weak spots. I go the Ankh of Power, so if I consume a Relic, I get that bonus damage, 30%. That's big. You're going to do the Ring of Flawed Beauty. Uh, that's a good one. I love Xania's Malice. I love Fair and Sigil. And this might seem off the wall, but the Provisioner Ring. Now, this right here is the build that I run around with. So if I don't hit ranged, if I don't hit a weak spot, if I don't hit a critical, I still get 15% damage from the Ankh, which is great. I'm not always hitting those, but this one gives you 25 increased weak spot damage, which is huge. This one gives you increased more weak spot damage, which is huge, right? You're not worried about crits on this one, not, no RNG. Gives you that mod power for hitting those weak spots. And this one will actually reload over time. Right here, this is the mod build. All right, my mod build. This is the build, the ring build that I use the absolute most. This is great for any situation, for bosses, for mobs, all of it. It's absolutely beautiful. If you wanted to use the black cat ring, I would swap out the favor and sigil for this. You don't really have to rely on that mod power that much. Like it's nice having hot shot. It really is. But I would say if you want the black cat ring, put it in there not a big deal but i'm gonna trust myself and put it in there so that's a great build if you want a regen build always do the always do these guys right put this guy in there the rerouting cable and the generating band i would replace the provisioner ring and the pharons but you have to have ring of flawed beauty and you have to have xania's malice so core items not core but what does the provisioner ring do it reloads the weapon while it's stowed now check it out Five. Okay, right? Two shots. I stow it. It is actually reloading. There is a visual bug. If you notice, in the top right, or the bottom right, it says two bullets, but when I switch it out, now watch, it's back up. So I technically had a full mag. There is an, a bug going on. Understand it is reloading in the back. So you shoot your three shots. You get your pistol out, apply those bleeds, apply the fires, come back. You got all three shots back, no reload. Apply the hot shot. If you apply the hot shot, you get all that back. It's a continuous cycle of bullets which is exactly what you're looking for right so having the provisioner ring allows you to overcome that reload timing and honestly until i discovered the provisioner ring the hardest part for me in this build was waiting and being so patient for reload speed but once i discovered the provisioner ring the just the utility of it alone made my runs so much easier and more manageable and also that's why i have gunslinger gunslinger is my it is everything. It's my prime perk. Sometimes I have it as prime, but I mostly run handler. Okay, so this right here, that's my standard. Hunter, you can do support dog or you can do attack dog. You want more damage, 20%. You want survivability, 
you want to get the heals, right? Do that one. Both of them are absolutely okay to use. It does not matter. What matters is you get the, the free revive and you get increased damage when you pull the dog back to you. For the Gunslinger, it's a must because right there, you got to have that additional ammo combined with the ammo reserves it's just so nice having all that ammo because you the the two biggest issues i already said reload speed and i might have already said how much ammo you have but i'm seeing it again reload and then the going and cycling through ammo will be an issue for you with the coach gun if you put gunslinger first as your prime perk you can get the ammo back you get the free reloads it's beautiful i use the quick draw because you get that twice as much as the guns as the sidewinder. Look at the cooldown. Look at the cooldown. Twice as long. But the sidewinder does something really interesting. So once again, utility, right? Guys, I'm I'm showing you stuff that you find what makes the game most fun for you. This game a hundred percent can be built. You could put every, you could have no ranks, you could not use your perks, right? And you can still beat anything if you have enough ammo boxes in this game. Truly. So it's all what is most fun to you. But if you proc your Q, you can do things like this. And it will auto reload for you. And you, you know what I'm saying? Like bleed, and you find the bleed, and you find the shot, and you're basically getting like ultimate DPS. It's great. If that's if you're not all about that tech, you're you can't focus on like there's too much going on around you. There's too many stimuli. I would definitely go the side one or the quick draw. Bust it out. Pow, pow, pow. You got it. And then I wouldn't run handler second because it kind of loses its value. And then I run handler and challenger when I need that free revive. Challenger has 10 minute revives. So handler is kind of better and kind of more OP. I run invader as my other one. Purely defensive style. I need that perfect dodge. Super offensive. Guys, you get 300% damage. Put that with the coach gun, with all the increased damage on everything else, and you're hitting for massive, massive, massive damage. And it cool down, the cooldown is 33 seconds. So if you're playing a slower paced game against a boss, you're going to be proccing this a lot because you get two uses of it, right? I believe you get two uses of it. I'm pretty sure you do. Yeah, I just had to double check. So you can use it once, wait 15 seconds, wait 20 seconds, use it again, and then you're another 15 to 20 seconds away from using it. And so like literally every 30 seconds after that, 30 seconds, 300% damage. And these fights do take a while. Which leads me to another thing. When they have regen, you already got bleed. So it takes care of the regen issue, right? That's why another reason why I have twisting wounds on here. But back to the traits, I'm sorry. I apologize for getting off track. This one's good if you just need the health and the ammo, right? So once again, you're having ammo issues or you think you have a health issue, it lasts for 30 seconds. Or let's say you know you're about to blow your load, right? You're going to pop a gunslinger perk like this one over here. You know you're about to pop it. Uh, you got the sidewinder. We'll pop this one first. Do the reboot. So pop this, then pop that. And as soon as this one ends, 12 seconds later, wait 10 more seconds, blow your load, keep hitting it all. All that ammo that you just just spent pop your reboot it's all back you don't have to worry about ammo it's so beautiful and it gives you your health back but this requires like great dodging skills like if you're super awesome with dodging super awesome with dodging and like if you fight mother mind there's a lot of rng in that fight add slime the rocks fall in swinging swipe the spin oh my god right I need that I have to have void cloak when I fight mother mind that's the one time I must use it otherwise it's all a feel how am I feeling on that day am I reactive or am I a little slower am I playing patiently am I more aggressive I love the gunslinger invader some runner-ups of course archon I love to run archon as my main and I love to run gunslinger as my second that's great I love having mods up however it's not really as useful as and this is crazy Summoner, so I'd actually do Gunslinger Summoner is my build. I know that's crazy, right? But it gives you regrowth, and I love regrowth. You also get mod power, mod damage, and when you blow up a minion, you get 30% ranged damage. So if you use this guy right here or this guy, you summon one, you're getting health regen, because you also have Tranquil Heart, which if you don't have, that's fine. 
right? But you still get health regen, so you'll get all that health back. You throw a summon, let it go towards the opponent. Roly polies are good for that. You throw them out there, blow it up, 30% increased damage, and you get two of them. Guys, that's amazing. That's that's so nice. So Summoner and Archon our invader are so good with this build. Backups, okay, you gotta say, Engineer's always good, and the Medic's always good. You can always run those. I would run Medic as my primary. I would run Engineer as my secondary, right? But once again, do what you want. They're all good. Gunslinger, Invader, great. Gunslinger, Engineer, great. But I would always recommend, if you're just starting out, or if, you're, if you need the extra leeway, this is what I would run. This is this is it right here. Traits, honestly, guys, don't really matter. I already told you, you can beat this game with anything, right? What do I do? I always put points in the health. That's the most important thing. You got points in the health, you can do nothing else. You can still beat these guys. It would take longer, but you could do it. With Invader, you would get this. But we're gonna assume we don't have Invader. We have Handler and Gunslinger. Always do your vulnerability windows. Mod damage is great. School, you don't really need school, skill cooldowns with this one. I love Vlad Gen. You have your ammo. Long shot is a must. Put a few, always put a few points into recovery. You can do five if you want. Eat. Stamina is like one of your best uh, resources. And to have it increased, stamina regen is survival. Damage reduction is great. Right, if you do summoner, do blood bond. Otherwise, the rest is up to you. Like, do whatever you want. Put the rest into health regen and give me another skill cooldown. Then that right there, I guess, would be what I would choose for this build. But it's a lot about how I'm feeling. With 100% vigor, 100% untouchable. Bark skin's great, don't need it. Stamina regen, gotta have it. Once again, regrowth is great. But I got the reg you got the long shot, got the ammo reserves. Those are great things to have. Now, there is another build with this one that I don't mind running, right? So it, regardless of it being crit, regardless of it being weak spot, with the coach gun, sometimes I will take out the weak spot and I'll run something else on top of it when I can't hit a weak spot. And that's important because there are certain bosses and enemies and elites that the weak spot's incredibly hard to hit. So maybe I would go more crit damage in that one. But if I, once again, maybe I'm not trying to go for quit, crit, or weak spot. Maybe I'm going for survivability. That's, that's gonna be crazy. So don't really worry about fate, fair and sigil. I would go the deep pocket ring and that would give you 25% more ammo. More ammo, more ammo, more shots. It's always a great thing. And then I would put something like this on and go for that regen. And if you didn't want to do that, if you didn't want the ammo reserve, you could always put this one in there, which would be the dense silicone ring. So real quick, this one gives you a shield when you roll. This one says as long as you have a shield, you regen health. So you're regening health, you're regening health. It's a beautiful thing. It's very synergistic. This one is as you regen health, you gain mod power. This is how you can always have your your healing mod up, because if you're regening health, I'm guessing you're getting hit a lot. And if you're getting hit a lot, you need your healing mod. This gives you that healing mod more, and it gives you that hot shot more. So this is my last, my survival ring. And if you just gotta survive, don't worry about the provisioner ring. The reloading isn't your biggest issue. Put on the black cat, and this is my ultimate survival kit right here. This right here will get you through anything. Well, and that about does it, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I, I appreciate you watching the video. And if you liked it, like and subscribe. I might have missed something, I apologize. Leave it in the comments. Other than that, peace out. I'll see y'all later.